wanted to start off by welcoming, welcoming you to the Pioneer Diamondback Athletic Booster Club All Sports Virtual Banquet for the 2019-20 school year. This unprecedented event is something that Coach Marcy De La Fuente thought of and then asked the amazing Mr. Charles Brenner if it could be pulled off. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. There's also another special group that I would like to thank tonight, and that is our Diamondback Athletic Booster Club. President Laura Escamilla, Vice Presidents Sheila Fernald and Selena Vasquez, Secretary Ms. Audrey Maldonado, Treasurer Ms. Ginger Padilla, and Historian Rochelle Torres. Your time and effort is appreciated by all, by all the coaches and athletes at Sherland Piner High School. These ladies have spent countless hours working to raise money for the athletic programs and for scholarships. They have helped cook and serve fajitas and sausage tacos at our famous Diamondback Booster Club hut. They've done the Booster Club raffle every single year and have been instrumental in helping our kids get scholarships to the next level. Once again, I would like to thank all the Diamondback Booster Club members for their efforts and time. Thank you. At this time, Ms. Laura Escamilla, Booster Club President, will come up and say a few words. Hello, Pioneer Nation. On behalf of Diamondback Athletic Booster Club members, I would like to thank you for making this year unforgettable. It has been an honor to support you. It is safe to say that this is not the celebration that any of us had hoped for. Each year, DABC looks forward to the opportunity to show our varsity athletes and coaches how much we appreciate the hard work and commitment invested in PHS athletics. Each year, our expectations are exceeded. This year was no exception. This school year, our varsity athletes have reached new heights and we are left in awe of you. Those outside athletics don't fully understand why you do what you do and why we at DABC, as parent volunteers, invest so much time doing this. The truth is, it is a privilege. We are here as witnesses. We see you, we see the hours, we see the sweat, we see the heart, and in some cases, we see the tears. We want you to know that what you do is not in vain. What you do represents your school. It represents our community. What you do brings joy, hope, and glimpses of the future. For our senior athletes, you leave a legacy behind unlike anything we have seen before. We know that some of you did not get to complete your goals this year, but we know what you would have done and we know what you could have accomplished. You have set a high bar for those returning next year and you have set a high bar for your future. Your years here at Pioneer High School should be viewed as your starting point, not your peak. If there is a silver lining to be had these last weeks, it is that we all have a greater appreciation for our friends, teammates, coaches, family, and community. Let us all move forward with kindness, gratitude, and resilience. Now I would like to recognize a few people that make everything possible at Sherland Pioneer. Our school board members, Mr. Hector Rivera, Mr. Ricky Longoria, Dr. Noe Oliveira, Mr. Julio Cerda, Mrs. Melissa Smith, Mr. Jose Garcia, and Mr. Keith Padilla. Our superintendent, Dr. Mimi Virauri. Our high school principal, Mr. James Heath. Our counselor, Ms. Trisha Guerrero. Our risk management director, Mark Doherty. Purchasing director, Jesse Salazar. Our superintendent of human resources, Dr. Gorena. Assistant Soup of Curriculum, Pam Montalvo. Assistant Soup of Finance, Ismael Gonzalez. The Sherilyn Pri Assistant Principals, Martha Salceda, Gina Garcia, and Eric Flores. Our Dean of Instruction, Belinda Garcia, and our Testing co Coordinator, Ms. Leti Garcia. I would also like to recognize our junior high coaches for all that they have done for these athletes over the last six years. Thank you for everything. And there's finally three individuals that I need to recognize, and those are your trainers, Aaron Moss, Rob Montoya, and Arlene Gutierrez. They spend countless hours with your athletes when they are injured, and they give up lots of time for your kids. We would not be able to do what we do without these three people. Now a summary of our season for 2019-20. What a great year it was for the Diamondbacks. The school year was an excellent one for the Diamondbacks, even though the seasons were cut short. There's no doubt in my mind that this group would have shattered many more records at Pioneer. Our varsity teams won district championships in football, boys basketball and girls basketball. We had three sports that were runner-ups and many, many more sports that qualified to the state playoffs or to regional competition. Football, volleyball, tennis, boys basketball and girls basketball were also by district champions. Boys basketball and football went all the way to the regional semifinals and lost close games to two very good San Antonio teams. 
the wrestling team placed second in district and qualified four boys to the state tournament. Coming home with a medal was Angel Avila. On the girls' side, they qualified three girls to the state tournament with junior Emily Trevino coming home with a medal. In individual sports, our powerlifting team qualified six girls to the regional meet and three girls to the state tournament. Unfortunately, they were not allowed to participate because of the shutdown. Our girls golf team was primed for their first ever district championship before the shutdown. And our boys team, led by LJ Chavez and Ethan Lee, led the entire Valley in scoring average and were on their way to their first state appearance. In track and field, our boys and girls had amazing teams this year. And both were ready to defend their district championship and area championships. Seniors LaVar Lindo, Alex Morales, Leo Salina, Shelby Cavazos, Danielle Alvarez, and junior Daisy Moni never got a chance to showcase their stuff at the state meet. Our boys and girls tennis teams were, allowed, were not allowed to finish the season, but were primed to send people to the regional tournament. We also qualified 19 to the regional swimming and diving meet. The boys and girls are once again one of the best teams in the Rio Grande Valley. Our girls and boys cross country teams both placed third at district and both sent representatives to the regional cross country meet. Baseball was cut short before we could even showcase what we were gonna be able to do. Our boys team was ranked 14th in the state of Texas before the shutdown. They even won the San Marcos tournament uh, right before it ended. Seniors Evan Maldonado, Trey Gonzalez, Angel Nunez, and Ray will be missed because of their tenacity and leadership ability. Softball was also cut short with the girls undefeated in district. They won the Marble Falls Tournament and were one of the best teams in the Rio Grande Valley once again. Our boys and girls soccer teams had an amazing season. Our girls team was primed for their first round playoff game before the shutdown. The sky is the limit for Pioneer. And our program should be considered to be one of the best in 5A as well as any program in the Rio Grande Valley. So far we have had 59 athletes who have been recognized for either all state honors, all state all, uh, academic, qualified to a state meet, or were selected to an all star game for the tournament. The following individuals qualified to these state meets or were re representatives at these state or local all star games. In wrestling, UIL state qualifiers Ethan Garza, Angel Avila, Danny Huerta, Orlando Camacho, Camilla Flores. Emily Trevino, and Vanessa Ramirez, along with all-state academic performer, Sarah Neal. Uh, uh, seniors uh, uh, Angel Avila came home with a medal, as well as junior Emily Trevino. In boys track, we had five academic all-state performers, Ethan Garcia, Edward Garcia, Isaac Salas, Isaac Bort, and Octavio Morales. In girls track, we had three academic all-states, Daniela Alvarez, Alexi Garcia, and Kate Rodriguez. In powerlifting, three girls qualified to the state meet, Daniela Roman, Marieline Loera, and Crystal Palafox. In soccer, we had one all-state academic in Andre Escalante and three RGV all-star game participants in Jocelyn Boyle, Ciela Bocanegra, and Dianata Espinosa. In soccer, Diego Palos was an academic all-state performer. In volleyball, Daniel Alvarez was an all-state academic performer and was a Tip of Texas All-Star Game recipient. In football, we had many, many performers. Uh, Eddie Lee Marburg was a first-team all-state performer. Fernando Salcedo was an AP second-team second all-state performer. Ethan Lee was an honorable mention all-state performer. LeVar Lindo was a first-team and a second-team all-state performer and signed a Division I scholarship to Stephen F. Luke Padilla was an honorable mention All-State performer. Shamir Mallard was a second team All-State performer. Eric Todas was a second team All-Stater. Brandon Rojas, All-State second team. Tristan Castillo was an honorable mention All-State. Sandalio Garcia was a second team All-State along with Oliver Olivares. Mario Guerra was a first team All-State academic. Uh, Andrew Acosta was also All-State academic. Peter Sparza was All-State academic. Alvaro Pena was All-State. Ethan Lee was honorable mention All-State academic, and Luis Mendoza was honorable mention All-State. The following men received their honors yesterday for being invited to the RGB All-Star game, which unfortunately will not be played. They are Evan Maldonado, Kyle Sullivan, uh, Oliver Olivares, Sandalio Garcia, Chimer Mallard, Luke Padilla, Lavar Lindo, Ethan Lee, and Fernando Salcedo. In Gross Cross Country, Kayla All was All-State academic. In swimming, we had four people invited to the Valley All-Star Meet. Emilio Guajardo, 
Joshua Cuellar, Diego Garza, and Ethan Montalvo. In girls basketball, an RGB All-Star Game participant, Adelaida Arroyo, along with three academic All-State performers, Alexia Hernandez, Laura Ramirez, and Audrey Hornerday, who was also selected to the McDonald's All-American team. In boys basketball, we had three All-Star Game participants, LeVar Lindo, Luke Padilla, and Derek Luna, along with two academic All-State performers in Ethan Lee and Derek Briseño. In baseball, we had four academic All-State guys, Angel Nunez, Derek Briseño, Alex Morales, and Isaiah Gomez. In softball, we also had four academic All-State, Alexia Hernandez, Cali Best, Aisa Saldana, and Sierra Garcia. In golf, also four more academic All-State performers, Alexandra Hoka, Caitlin Salinas, Ethan Lee, and Andrew Vieta. Now I'm going to announce our Division One and Division Two or Division Three signees to play athletics at the next level. They are Lavar Lindo, signed with Stephen F. Austin University for football. Alexia Hernandez, signed with Prairie View A&M for softball. Evan Maldonado, signed with the University of Houston for baseball. Octavio Morales, signed with Vanguard University in California for track. L.J. Chavez signed with the University of Central Oklahoma for golf. Jocelyn Boyle signed with the University of Dallas for soccer. Angel Nunez signed with Our Lady of the Lake University for baseball. Isaiah Reyes with Dallas Christian College for baseball. And Derek Luna signed with Texas A&M Kingsville for basketball. We anticipate uh, more people in the next coming months to be able to, to sign and go on to the next level. And we will get that information to you guys as we get it. Thank you very much. And now on to the program. Hello Diamondbacks. My name is Marisa Briseño and I am the proud coach of the Sherryland Pioneer Diamondback Cheerleaders. I would like to take this time to say thank you to Mr. Heath and Ms. Garcia who are constantly there to support our program. A special thanks to Erica, my assistant, who does everything behind the scenes and I would not be able to take this uh, team on without her. So Erica, thank you so much. I want to begin by introducing our varsity cheerleaders. To start, I would like to introduce our seniors, um, Hannah Castillo, Angela Garza, Alexi Garcia, Nina Guzman, Jackie Mata, Caitlin Salinas, and Alex Tomasino. Our juniors are Abby Bassan, Peyton Florence, Jada Espino, Isabella Farmer, Mia Ramirez, and Ava Schmidt. Our sophomores, Brianna Cantu, Cassandra Ellison, Cassandra Galvan, Lauren Gonzalez, Jocelyn Mendez, Giselle Hernandez, Ana Rodriguez, Victoria Ramos, Haley Tijerina, and Mia Virgil. And last but not least, our freshmen, Miranda Luna and Alexa Garza. Our 2019-2020 season started the week after uh, our last baseball game of the 2018-2019 season, which was in June. The girls went ahead and uh, been practicing since February to go to their summer camp where they earned various accolades um, and I couldn't be more proud of them. We started our season in August. They prepared for the convocation, then cheered on our volleyball team to the state playoffs, our football team to the state playoffs, all while preparing for their own state competition. We traveled to Fort Worth in hopes to defend their um, top three of the state title. Um, the team had won a state competition in 2018. They won a silver medal in 2019 and they were going back uh, in hopes of winning another state title. Um, unfortunately, we came in short by 0.6 of a point and brought home a bronze medal nonetheless and I couldn't be more proud. Uh, we had several girls fighting the flu at the same time uh, while they were still cheering at um, football, basketball, um, getting ready for softball, baseball, soccer, and track and still holding on their classes. The girls were so look. The girls and Alex were so looking forward to going and um, finishing off their season with baseball and softball, and helping out with track. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I do want to recognize one individual on our team. She is one of the most selfless, hardworking cheerleaders that I have on my team. She has signed up with the United States Navy, and she is now Sailor Hannah Castillo. Hannah, thank you so much for the four years that you've given me. You have worked so hard and you are so giving 
and I know that you are going to do great things and we could not be more proud of you. Thank you for all of your commitment to our team and our, our, our country. And now to our awards. This year's Spirit and Hustle Awards go to three different individuals that have really impacted our team in a positive way. Um, our first individual has put cheerleading first in her life. She has missed uh, all of her family vacations since she started cheering for us because she knows that June is for cheer camp. And so that has played a role. Um, her dad is make sure that he doesn't schedule anything around the time that she has something dealing with cheer because cheer is so important to her. She has showed up sick. Um, she has showed up on her birthday. She has showed up all the time. And that makes her an amazing leader because that goes to show everyone else that once you make a commitment to a team, that takes precedence over anything else. And that I truly appreciate. This other athlete has been with me since she was uh, a freshman. She did compete with varsity as a freshman at the UIL state competition. I truly value her uh, eagerness to bring ideas to our team on different things that we should try. Um, you need that. She's involved in other extracurricular activities, so her knowledge of the different events and things that are going on within the school uh, helps her to bring ideas and helps our team come up with things that uh, just draw more spirit to our school. And lastly, this individual um, truly has grown as a leader on our team. One thing that I like about um, how she hustles on our team is her hard work, her work ethic. One thing that I've noticed is I am constantly giving her constructive criticism. She absorbs it, she goes back and she fixes what she needs to fix, and she executes every single time. And you need that so that the people that are coming into our team can see that this is what our team is about. So this year's Spirit and Hustle Award goes to Ava Schmidt, Alexi Garcia, and Giselle Hernandez. Great job, ladies. Next is our Performer of the Year Award. We have three different individuals that I felt merited this award. The first one goes to an athlete who I feel um, takes her job or her role seriously. And she really stood out this year in her performances. I feel that uh, anytime that I moved her from a spot that she wasn't um, hitting or she wasn't doing properly, she always came back and, and asked, hey coach, please let me keep trying, let me work. And she would come back the next day and she would hit it. And so for that, I'm truly proud of her. Um, next is, uh, is a senior who brought her choreography skills to our team. She always uh, managed to make suggestions, uh, to come up with things that made our performances better. Um, this year at UIL, I just saw her shine. Her facial expressions, her motivation. She was up in the front, you know, trying to work the crowd and she truly stood out to me. And last but not least, we have our first male uh, cheerleader who truly draws everyone's attention. The minute that we put him on a stunt, everyone just gravitated to him, his charisma, his facial expressions, the way he performs things, just really shines this year. So our new, our performers of the year this year are Alex Tomasino, Jackie Mata, and Victoria Ramos. Great job, guys. Next, we have our Newcomer of the Year Award. This award uh, is given to first-timers on our varsity team. This individual is coming from our JV team from the previous year. She has just grown so much. Uh, she's managed to be able to come out of her shell. She works the crowd constantly, yelling, um, performing. Her jumps have improved tremendously. Her Just her role as a cheerleader, she just managed to fall in love with it a little bit more, it looks like. And you need that when you're in cheer because it's not just about the skills. How you can exude that excitement and spirit among your peers and your school and your community. Next, we have an athlete who hadn't cheered last year, but she has worked so hard. Um, when she first came in, yeah, she struggled a little bit. I don't know if the expectation was just different, but she managed to work hard. Um, she ended the year stronger than ever. Her stunt uh, skills were great. Her jumps have surpassed what she started off with, and her tumbling skills were just fantastic. So this year's Newcomers of the Year are Cassie Ellison and Lauren Gonzalez. Great job, ladies. 
So if any of you have ever seen the show Cheer on Netflix, you know how hard it is to stunt. Um, these individuals, my athletes, get kicked in the face. They have had broken noses, uh, fractures, broken shoulder bones, um, you name it. They still manage to get back up there and work their stunts and manage to hit their stunts to perform either on a Friday night or at a pep rally or any performance for that matter. And it is hard work, but they manage to do it. We have so many um, great stunt groups. So this year what I really uh, drew attention to was the individuals at, in their roles, a flyer, a base, and a back spot. And also that I was able to remove them and place them in other stunt groups and they didn't um, hesitate. They still executed those stunts and they managed to, um, to do the very best. So the stunt group of the year for 2019-2020 is Mia Ramirez, Nina Guzman, Abby Basan, and Jocelyn Mendez. Great job, ladies. And last but not least is our most valuable cheerleader award. This award, I feel, is, is a tough one because all of our cheerleaders are important. When one person is missing, we feel it among the entire team. I did manage to select uh, three individuals that I feel brought qualities that made our team stronger. This one individual is one of the most selfless people that I've ever met. She would unload the bus, uh, the luggages, she would load them without anyone asking her. She would, you know, if someone didn't have a bow, she would take hers off and give it to them. Or if someone was missing a shirt, she would rather get in trouble and give them the shirt. You need someone who is selfless that way. Um, this other athlete is so versatile. It didn't matter if I put her to fly, if I put her to base, if I put her to uh, tumble, to work a sign. She did it wholeheartedly, never complained, never said no, never said I can't. Um, she always managed to execute what I asked her to. And you need that so that the rest of the team can see, hey, it doesn't matter where we put you, whether you're in the front, you're in the back, whether you're flying, whether you're basing, you are a huge part of our team. And last but not least, this individual brought just a soft leadership among her teammates. Um, she was a very positive influence among her peers. She was always willing to make things work, always uh, helping those that, that struggled, whether it was with a stunt, a material. She always had po something positive to say. She always uh, managed to message me, you know, outside of school and say, hey coach, why don't we try this? Or what if we help with this? And you need that. So these three individuals as a whole, I feel, impacted our team on a positive. So this year's most valuable cheerleaders are Hannah Castillo, Caitlin Salinas, and Angela Garza. So with that said, I do want to take the time to say thank you to our seniors. I'm truly going to miss you. Um, this class has been so special. Um, you have grown so much as athletes, as individuals, academically, and just all around and I'm so grateful. I can't wait to see all of the great things that you accomplish in your future, and I wish you nothing but the best. You will be truly missed. Know that Pioneer High School will forever be your home. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Robert Montoya, athletic trainer, Pioneer High School. Um, also representing Pioneer High School, we have Aaron Moss and Arlene Gutierrez, um, two other staff athletic trainers. Um, I am going to go ahead and introduce our student athletic trainers for this school year. I'm going to start with our four senior student trainers. Uh, first is uh, Jesus Navarro, Mary Malacara, Odalis Garcia, Ana Paz, are the four seniors for this school year. And now I will introduce the remainder of the student trainers for this school year. Lizzie Garza, Alexandra Antunez, Itzel Ramirez, Natalie Guerrero, Leora Shorts Williams, Michaela Calderon, Jasmine Cordova, Samantha Geronimo, 
and Hanani De Leon. Those are our student athletic trainers for this school year. Um, a quick little bio on a recap for this school year. Um, this year, our PHS, Pioneer Student Trainers, uh, were very hardworking, small group but very hardworking individuals. Together we spend numerous hours organizing and preparing for sports events. Their time and commitment assisting us at practices, games, and tournaments has been valuable and greatly appreciated. I want to acknowledge everyone's effort by giving you an idea of their time commitment. Our student athletic trainers volunteer their time daily, assisting us in pre- and post-practice game preparation. This involves setting up logistical stations for treatments, like bandaging and wound care, taping and daily treatments, and rehab of, of athletic injuries. Daily organization of water stations and equipment setup during practices and games, and of course a never-ending cleanup after a Friday night football game. Uh, these hard-working individuals gain valuable hands-on experience in the field of sports medicine and endure long, hot, stressful hours from week to week. We want to thank you publicly for your hard work and dedication. Y'all took the initiative to help others with nothing in return. We hope to see you all return next year and for those four seniors graduating, Jesus, Mary, Odalis, and Anna, we want to wish you happy endeavors in whatever your future offers. You will be greatly missed. Thank you, Piner High School Student Athletic Trainers. The Pioneer Boys and Girls Varsity Wrestling Teams had another outstanding season. On the boys' side, we were able to win the largest tournament in the Rio Grande Valley, the Grapefruit Bowl, hosted here at Pioneer, and we were able to send four boys to state. Those four boys were Junior Orlando Camacho, as well as three seniors, Daniel Huerta, Ethan Garza, who finished in the top eight, and Angel Avila, who finished at sixth place at 126 pounds. On the girls' side, we were able to send three girls to the state wrestling tournament. Those three girls were freshmen Vanessa Ramirez and juniors Camilla Flores and Emily Trevino. Emily Trevino finished sixth place in state at 119 pounds. The members of our boys varsity wrestling team are Daniel Alani, Angel Avila, Kenneth Rier, Orlando Camacho, Anthony Del Angel, Samuel Eddy, Taylor Esparza, Daniel Flores, Ethan Garza, Diego Garza, Daniel Huerta, Osvaldo Lara, Roman Molar, Jordan O'Dell, Jay Palacio, Bobby Pena, Michael Perella, Christian Ramos, Noah Ramos, Austin Sign, Jean Luis Snyman, Andrew Torres, Nathan Vasquez, and Daniel Villarreal. On our girls' varsity wrestling team, we had Chantella Costa, Joanna Alvarez, Camilla Flores, Gabriela Garcia, Sarah Neal, Crystal Palafox, Vanessa Ramirez, and Emily Trevino. I'd also like to congratulate seniors Jordan O'Dell and Sarah Neal for being named to Academic All-State by the Texas High School Coaches Association. Sarah was one of only two girls that qualified for first team to Academic All-State. Our award winners are, for most outstanding boy, Angel Avila. Our maximum effort boy is Daniel Huerta. And our most improved boy is Kenneth Rier. For our girls, the most outstanding girl was Emily Trevino. Our maximum effort girl was Camilla Flores. And our most improved girl was Vanessa Ramirez. Thank you very much, Diamondbacks, for all you did to make our team great this year. And I look forward to next season. Good luck to all of our seniors as they continue on after this strange, strange senior year. Thank you again. Dedicated, ambitious, talented, hardworking, and young is how I would describe the 2019-2020 Pioneer Powerlifting Team. With the departure of strong veterans the previous year, 
I had to rely on young group of lifters to carry on the tradition of excellence we have established. As I wasn't sure how the season was going to look, these young student athletes not only continued the traditions, but exceeded all expectations that was set in front of them. These young lifters showed having the characteristics mentioned above enabled them to achieve their goals. The boys team had a mixture of veterans and young lifters. Each, even though none of the lifters qualified for the regional tournament, they worked tirelessly fighting to achieve that dream. I want to thank all of you for your dedication and hard work fighting to be the best version of yourself. The boys team consisted of freshman Marco Gutierrez, Thomas Marina, Andrew Noblock, Joseph Graham and Charlie Lomax. Sophomores Victor Vasquez, Luis Garcia and Israel Nicana. Juniors George Robles, Cesar Benavides, David Recio, Andy Noriega, Orlando Camacho and Daniel Roman. Seniors Jesus Coronado, Humberto Serna, Juan Villarreal, and Andrew Torres. The girls team set a pioneer record with six girls qualifying to the regional tournament and three girls qualifying for the girls state powerlifting championships. Even though the girls never got the opportunity to showcase their talent at the state meet due to the coronavirus, they should be proud of the work they put in to achieve that goal. The girls team consisted of freshman Haley Yu, Crystal Avendano, Asmara Marin, Taylor Marasco, and Kendra Rodriguez. Sophomores, Brianna Cantu, regional qualifier, Kayla Sustieta, and Ileana Vasquez. Juniors, Ariana Canales, Daniela Roman, regional and state qualifier, and Crystal Palafox, regional and state qualifier. Seniors, Jennifer Villarreal, regional qualifier, Alejandra Garcia, regional qualifier, Aisa Sedania, Brianna Anzandua, and Marilyn Loetta, regional and state qualifier. I could not be prouder of everyone on this team who made this year a success. When this season began, I wasn't sure what to expect with so many young lifters. However, these student athletes proved that through hard work, anything is possible. I would also like to thank my assistant, Sonia Longoria, for her hard work and dedication to our athletes. The passion that she brought each and every day allowed for our athletes and team to be successful. I would also like to thank all the parents for their support you gave our program. I want to especially thank the seniors for giving everything you had for this team. I will always remember you, and I have no doubt all of you will be successful and make a huge pan impact on our society. Thank you and good luck. Now our plaque awards. Newcomer of the Year, Aisa Sadania and Andrew Noblock. Most Improved Girl, Alejandra Garcia, Regional Qualifier. Most Improved Boy, Victor Vasquez. Outstanding Girls, Marilyn Loetta, Daniela Roman, and Crystal Palafax, all three regional and state qualifiers. Outstanding boys, Luis Garcia and Humberto Cerna. Thank you. I'd like to introduce the 2019-2020 swimming and diving uh, district participants uh, we have Roman Acevedo, Margaret Allen, Silvio Briones, Alexis Cantu, Joshua Cuellar, Hanani De Leon, Ritzy Dominguez, um, Maya Dominguez, uh, Merrick Dubila, uh, James Epling, Seth Epling, uh, Demani Evans, Luis Farias, Rocio Galvan, Eric Garrea, Diego Garza, Sable Glick, Taylor Gonzalez, Emilio Bajadro, Rebecca Hernandez, Cecilia Herrera, Sofia Herrera, Erin Longoria, Ethan Montavo, Maria Navarro, Karen Rivera, Jared Rodriguez, Analia Romero, Joshua Romero, uh, Maria Rosales, Patricia Torres, Justice Vallejo, Megan Vela, and Mia Villarreal. At the district meet, the boys placed third. Uh, the boys' highlights are as follows. 
boys were district champs in the 200 free relay who consisted of Emilio Guajardo, Diego Garza, Ethan Montavo, and Seth Epling. The same boys also played second in the 200 free relay. The boys 400 relay placed third who consisted of Joshua Romero, uh, Justice Vallejo, Rowan Acevedo, and Aaron Longoria. Emilio Guajadro was district champ in the 100 free and the 100 back. Ethan Montavo was district champ in the 53. Seth Aplin placed third in the 53. Diego Garza placed second in the 100 breaststroke. Joshua Cuellar placed second in one meter diving. The girls placed third in the district meet. Uh, the district highlights for the girls were uh, the 200 Bentley Relay placed second. Relay members consisted of Rebecca Hernandez, Silvia Briones, Alexis Cantu, and Sofia Herrera. The girls 200 Free Relay placed fourth. Relay members were Rebecca Hernandez, uh, Patricia Torres, Karen Rivera, and Cecilia Herrera. The girls 400 Relay placed fourth. Uh, members were Alexis Cantu, Demani Evans, Silvia Briones, and Sofia Herrera. Alexis Cantu placed second in the 100 fly and third in the 200 IM. Sofia Herrera placed second in the 200 free and the 100 free. Silvia Briones placed second in the 100 breaststroke. Rebecca Hernandez placed fourth in the 200 free and the 500 free. Mia Villarreal placed fourth in one meter diving and Margaret Allen placed fifth on one meter diving. Overall, we had 19 athletes qualify for the regional meet in Corpus Christi. 17 of the 19 made it to day two, which is finals. Uh, six, the boys placed six in the 200 medley relay. Members were Emilio Guajadro, Diego Garza, Ethan Montavo, and Seth Eplin. Uh, Ethan Montavo placed fifth in the 53. Uh, Emilio Guajadro placed six in the 100 back. Joshua Cuellar placed seventh in the one meter diving. Girls uh, regional highlights were uh, 200 medley placed seventh. Relay members were Rebecca Hernandez, Silvia Briones, Alexis Cantu, and Sofia Herrera. Alexis Cantu placed uh, ninth in the 100 of fly. This year was a challenging year. Um, uh, for example, our heater went down and right real close to championship season. We had to travel to La Jolla and that was at night and that was the only time slot we could get. So we'll part with the kids were getting home and I got 8.30 at night. Uh, but you know, these kids are tough and uh, you know, they didn't uh, break, you know, they they worked hard, you know, and uh, we all stuck together to support each other. And uh, I just, you know, I part of the family. and. Uh, just real proud of all, all our swimmers and uh, I'd like to thank my assistant coach uh, Joanne Munguia, she was awesome, he did a great job uh, and it's going to be, a, it's gonna be we're going to do good once we get back. Guys, uh, I miss you guys, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's been kind of hard not used to seeing you guys, you know, complaining about getting in the water <laughs> and stuff like that, you know, uh, I even miss that, you know, sound of kicking in the water, you know, just little things like that that I miss. But guys, we're gonna get back to it. And um, uh, I know it's harder at time right now, guys. Just, uh, we're gonna get through it and we'll get through it together. We have a great family and we'll stick together. I wanna let you know good guys know that I love you. I also wanna go ahead and thank uh, the parents uh, for all your support and, and uh, really being there for your kids and, and for me and so, uh, so uh, you know, I got the best parents in the world, I believe, and uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everything. You know, even though we're supporting people with Swimathon, eight hour meets and stuff like that, being there and picking them up late at night and stuff like that. So uh, parents, thank you so much. And I really just want to let you know, I appreciate you. And administration, uh, got the best administration I could ever work for. It's uh, it's unbelievable how, how lucky and fortunate we are to have a administration like you guys I just want to go ahead and thank you guys uh, and thank you very much guys uh, next year we'll, we'll be back to it and uh, looking forward to it all right guys now for the awards we have uh, for outstanding boy we have 
Emilio Guajadro, and uh, Ethan Montalvo. For Outstanding Girl, we have Sofia Herrera and Alexis Cantu. Uh, for Most Improved Boy, we have Erin Longoria and Diego Garza. For Most Improved Girl, uh, we have uh, Cecilia Herrera and Patricia Torres. For Boy Diver of the Year, we have Joshua Cuellar. For Female Diver of the Year, we have Mia Villarreal and Margaret Allen. For Newcomer Boy, we have James Epling and Luis Farias. For Newcomer of the Year, we have Silvia Briones and uh, Maria Rosales. Hello everyone, my name is Rick Rivera and I'm the head boys tennis coach here at Pioneer High School. The 2019-20 Diamondback tennis team had another spectacular season this year, making the 31-5-8 area playoffs for the fourth straight year. In the fall season, the Diamondbacks finished as a district runner-up, by district champions, and area finalists in one of the toughest tennis districts in South Texas. Over the last six years, the Diamondback tennis team has amassed an amazing record of 70 wins, 11 losses, and team tennis. In the second half of our season, though it was cut short, the varsity tennis team played a total of six tournaments and either placed first or second as a team, and all of them with the exception of one tournament. Individually, both boys and girl players brought home numerous first place trophies throughout the spring season. Though the season was cut short and our district tournament was not able to be played, the boys tennis team was anxiously looking forward to defending their boys title and winning their fifth straight district championship. In the six years that I have coached here at Pioneer, Coach Koltebach and I have taken players to the regional and state tournament, and we had no doubt that we, have, we would have taken players again this year. The varsity boys roster for this year are as follows. Matthew Rosa, senior. Patricio Liad, senior. Juan Hernandez, senior. David Martinez, senior. Joseph Hernandez, junior. Antonio, Antonio Liad, freshman. Angel Martinez, junior. Luis Barigan, sophomore. Tom Gomez, senior. Leo Ibarra, Sr. Joel Rodriguez, Jr. Alex Acosta, Jr. Jonathan Rodriguez, Sr. Álvaro Canales, Sr. and Enrique Monrique, Sr. As for individual awards, uh, for our Newcomer of the Year, we have two players going out to sophomore Luis Barragan and Freshman of the Year, Antonio Liad. For most improved players, we also have two players again. We have Jr. Angel Martinez, and Joseph Hernandez. For outstanding players, we also have two players. We have Juan Hernandez and David Martinez, both are seniors. And for our last but not least MVP for the 2000, 2019, 2020 uh, year, we have Matthew Rosa and Patricio Liad. In closing, I want to thank our administration and our parents for the support throughout the school year. For the seniors, our season was cut short you will always have a place here at Pioneer High School and in my heart. I wish everyone the best and God bless. We are Pioneer. Hey Diamondbacks, this is Coach Koltenbach. I am the girls tennis coach. As Coach Rivetta mentioned, we did have a great fall season and a phenomenal partial spring season, seeing as that we didn't get to finish. But we did place first or second at almost every individual tennis tournament. We are extremely proud of our athletes and wish, wish them the best of luck in all of their endeavors. The varsity team this year consisted of Celeste Ramirez, who received first team all district in singles and in doubles, Alyssa Cantu, Laura Salas, Valeria Falcón, who received honorable mention. Nancy Ramones, who received first team all district in doubles. Denise Soboranes. Cecilia Ibarra. Sydney Algape. And Eden Gonzalez. The awards for this year's sports banquet go to Alyssa Cantu, who received MVP, Most Valuable Player. Celeste Ramirez, who received Outstanding Player. Valeria Falcón, who received Most Improved. And 
Sydney Agape who received Newcomer of the Year. We miss everyone and hope you have a great summer. See you guys soon. Bye. Hey everyone, my name is Susan Lopez. I'm the Pioneer Head Boys and Girls Golf Coach. My assistant for the last two years has been David Munson and I'd like to acknowledge his help and give him my appreciation for the hard work that he's put in the last two years. Now it is my honor to introduce to you the Varsity Boys and Girls Golf Team for 2019-2020. Starting with the varsity girls, we have freshman Jocelyn Lopez, sophomores Gabriela Astorga, Maria Ola Elizondo, and Sofia Silva. Juniors, we have Kaylee Cruz and Rebecca Salinas. Seniors, Caitlin Salinas and Alexandra Pocott. On the boy side, we have freshman Gabriel Guerrero, sophomores Lucas Escamilla and Ryan Montoya, juniors Ryan Bagwell, Gabriel Kelly, and Chris Gurriel, seniors Luis LJ Chavez, Ethan Lee, and Andrew Vieta. This year marked a lot of firsts for both the girls and the boys golf programs. Starting with the girls, the Varsity Girls Golf Team emerged as a force to be reckoned with at the end of the year. With the addition of freshman Jocelyn Lopez, the girls started out strong in the fall with two second place finishes. With the beginning of the spring season, we saw the introduction of Kaylee Cruz, who came in from San Antonio. That truly made the girls contenders for the district title. The girls ended the shortened season by winning both the Edinburgh Invitational as well as the pre-district tournament, beating Sherryland High School for the first time in school history. The girls stood a fantastic chance of winning its first district team title in school history had we had the opportunity to finish the season. For this group, the sky was the limit. As for the Varsity Boys Golf Team, they started the year with a one-shot win over the field in the McAllen Invitational. The first time we had ever won that event. A few weeks later, the boys shot a 299 on the second day of the Wesleco Invitational, <clears throat> which was the first time the boys team had shot a sub 300 score. In December, the boys traveled to Georgetown for the Fall State Preview and finished third in a very strong field. This was the first time we had brought home some hardware from that tournament. In the spring, the boys again traveled to Georgetown to prepare for a possible trip to the state tournament, then came home and won the pre-district tournament by nearly four strokes over the district field. This year, held the potential for another first, and that would have been a team trip to the state tournament, following up on LJ's individual trip last year. I cannot express the sheer disappointment and heartbreak that I feel for my seniors and everyone who did not get the first to finish the goals that we stood out for this year. We cannot change the past. We can only look forward. So for those of you graduating, I wish you the most excellent future and hope that one day you will remember your high school experience and have fond memories because that is exactly how I will remember you. For those of you returning, I can only hope and pray that things will return to some sense of normalcy and we can get back out on the golf course in pursuit of the elusive state trip. Now for the awards. For the Varsity Girls, perpetual plaque winners include Newcomers of the Year, Freshman Jocelyn Lopez, and Junior Haley Cruz. Most Improved, Junior 
Rebecca Salinas, and senior Alexandra Hocott. Best average, Kaylee Cruz. Outstanding golfer, Jocelyn Lopez. For the boys, perpetual plaque recipients include newcomer of the year, freshman Gabriel Guerrero. Most improved goes to Ryan Montoya and Chris Guriel. Best average, senior LJ Chavez. Outstanding golfers, junior Ryan Bagwell and seniors Ethan Lee and LJ Chavez. Remember in golf, the most important shot is the next one. See you next year. Welcome parents and athletes. I am Coach Chapa, the girls head cross country coach. And my first assistant this year was Alexis Feina. I want to thank Coach Feina for all his hard work and his dedication with the athletes. This year's Lady Diamondbacks cross country team placed third at district and qualified to the 5A regional championship and placed seventh in Corpus Christi. Senior Krista Tantu led the team for the majority of the season and ran to a 7th place finish at District and 42nd at Regionals. Assisting the team were seniors Kayla Paul, Isela Ogin, juniors Frida Madrigal, Alyssa Sainz, and Gabriela Ramirez. Sophomores were Itza Bravo, Kimberly Diaz, and Andrea Mongoria. Freshmen were Isabella Arroyo and Alexa Garza. Top honors were earned by Crystal, first team on district, Frida, second team on district, and Itza, second team on district. Senior Kayla was honored with the All State Academic Award. A special thanks to the three seniors, Crystal, Kayla, and Isella for their four-year commitment to the sport. Your desire, dedication, and relentless hard work year-round did not go unnoticed. Proud of all of you, and best of luck in your future endeavors. For the rest of you girls, you know I will be retired, and I'm going to miss you all. I wish you the best of luck in your upcoming season. Love you, and God bless you. Our other team recognitions are JV placed fourth at district and our freshmen were our district champions. Now for our awards for this coming year. Our newcomer of the year goes to two outstanding freshmen, Isabella Arroyo and Alexa Garza. The Spirit and Desire Award are going to Frida Madrigal, Itza Bravo, and Gabriela Ramirez. Most improved, Kimberly Diaz, Andrea Longoria, and Alyssa Sainz. And the MVP for this coming year goes to senior Crystal Gantu. Thank you girls for all of your hard work and God bless you. Hello Pioneer Nation, this is head coach Dave Munson speaking for our virtual sports banquet here for the 2019 season. I want to recognize my assistant coach, Mr. Roy Garcia III. Varsity team members this year consisted of seniors and juniors. Angel Avila, Octavio Morales, Fabian Garcia, Seth Epling, Edward Garcia, Ethan Garcia, Cody Carr, and juniors Cesar Ramirez, Seth Rodriguez, William Neal, Diego Castillo, and Miguel Del Angel. Here's the Pioneer 2019 cross country season in a nutshell. We're always building on the tradition of excellence here at Pioneer High School. We're always contender for the district championships. The teams qualified individuals or the team every year to the regional finals and advanced individuals and a team to the state championships three different times. In addition, the cross-country programs 
boys and girls have won the prestigious RGD Program of the Year three times. 2019 had the same expectations with goals of performing our best at the district, regional, and state meets. The hard work and commitment the boys put in in the summer is the secret to our success. When the season began, we ran against the best teams every week. We finished in the top 10 in seven out of the 10 meets. All the cross country meets we run are big and consist of 20 plus teams and represent the best schools throughout the RGB and the out of town trips to San Antonio and the Austin areas. We are very consistent banging heads with all the 6A and 5A schools week in and week out. Our goal is to be running our best when it counts the most, which is at the district, regional, and state meet. We had to deal with one setback a week before the district meet when one of our top runners, Seth Rodriguez, was involved in a car accident. Thanks to the good Lord, he and his mother were not seriously injured, but he had to miss the district meet. With our backs against the wall, the boys showed a lot of character and responded to advance to the regional meet anyway. At regionals, the boys at full strength avenged the District 31 district by beating district champs PSJ Memorial and runner-up Palmview High School, finishing a respectable seventh place at the regional finals and missing the state meet by three places. The performances of Cesar Ramirez, Atilio Morales, Angel Avila, and Seth Rodriguez were some of the best team efforts I've ever seen. They left it all out on the field that day. I've never been prouder as a coach. There's a lot of highs and lows out there, but it was just a great ride. I'm really proud of all the runners that ran that day. I truly love all my athletes, from the new freshmen on up to our fantastic seniors, and respect their commitment to our program. To all the seniors, I want to say a big thank you for being a big part of my life. I want to wish you all the best as you move forward to the next chapters of your lives. We'll be back next year stronger than ever and ready to continue the history-making success that has pioneered VBAC Cross Country. Our team and individual honors this year. As a team, we were third in our district and we advanced to the regional meet as a regional team qualifier placing 7th at the regional finals out of 24 teams. Our JV team continued to dominate the district meets, six years in a row district champions. The ninth grade had a solid third place, only five points out of first, but we did have the individual champ and freshman Ryan Cervantes. First team all district performers. Cesar Ramirez was fourth, he was first team all district. Angel Abula was ninth, he was first team all district. Octavio Morales was 13th, he was second team all district runner. In the RGV Meet of Champs Valley Classic, we had Cesar Ramirez finish 11th and he made the second team all valley. At the regional meet, Cesar was our top performer and finished 15th overall, missing qualifying to the state meet as an individual by one place. Last but not least, our 2019 award winners on the perpetual plaques where their names will be represented from the years to come. Our newcomer of the year, three guys this year. They'll all be back. They got great experience this year, and I know they'll be seasoned varsity runners into their senior year. It goes to Diego Castillo, Miguel Del Angel, and William Neal. The Spirit and Desire Award. This goes to the individuals that have the best attitude, the hardest workers, and show up day in and day out and give 100%. That goes to no other than Octavio Morales and Fabian Garcia. The next award is our most improved runner. It goes to a couple upperclassmen, but if you're a runner, you realize that it is a process and it takes time. These guys have been committed and improved every year. Angel Avila has been a four-year varsity runner. He's got better every single year and has brought it when it counted the most and helped us have much success in his last four years. Also, junior Seth Rodriguez rose onto this season this year and started running really good and, and got his confidence up and he's going to be a force next year. Those are my two most improved runners. Last but, but not least, most valuable runner. This guy is the hardest worker, never misses practice, gets it done in the classroom, has a great attitude, and I consider him like a son of mine, the mighty C. 
Cesar Ramirez. Congratulations to my Pioneer Diamondback Cross Country teams and congratulations to all the Pioneer Sports teams. Thank you very much. Hello, Pioneer Nation. I'm Laura Cavazos and I'm the head volleyball coach. First, I want to introduce our 2019-2020 staff and our team. Varsity assistant coach, Claudia Garza. Assistant coaches, Nicole Villarreal, Casey Bickerton, Lisa Cáceres, and Jessica Lopez. And now for our team. Seniors, Daniela Alvarez, Melanie Rodriguez, Shelby Cavazos, and Samantha Ayala. Juniors, Jordi Elis Caravaggio and Daisy Moni. Sophomores, Lorelai Hill, Elizabeth Pina, Thalia Ochoa, Jordan Bravo, and Natalie Reyes. We'd also like to thank Leslie, Brittany, and Audrey, our managers. Our 2019 team had the most wins in school history with a final record of 33-11. We finished in second place in 31-5A and returned to the 5A postseason for the sixth year in a row. Our team was quick, dynamic, and explosive. We finished the SISD tournament in second place, and Natalie Reyes was awarded to the all-tournament team. We were by district champions and area finalists. I also want to acknowledge the sub state teams. Both our ninth and JV dark teams were district champions. This year, sophomore Natalie Reyes was the 31-5A setter of the year and the All-Valley setter of the year. Natalie also reached her 1,000th assist this year. Senior Daniela Alvarez was on the TGCA and THSCA All-State Academic Team. Daniela was joined by sophomore Lorelai Hill by being named a 31-5A First Team All-District member. Junior Jordi Elis Caraballo was awarded the 31-5A Defense Specialist of the Year. Daisy Moni received Second Team All-District and fellow teammates Samantha Ayala and Thalia Choa received honorable mention awards. To our seniors, Daniela, Melanie, Shelby, Samantha, you've given us so much to our program and we want to wish you all the best. We would also like to thank everyone for their support this year. And now for our perpetual plaque winners. Newcomer of the Year, Daisy Moni. Defensive Player of the Year, Jordi Ellis Caraballo. Offensive Player of the Year. Laura Like Hill and Dalia Chola. Harden Hustle Award. Samantha Yala and Shelby Gavazos. And our 2019 MVP award winners are Daniela Alvarez and Natalie Reyes. Congratulations to all our athletes. Thank you for working so hard and representing Pioneer to the best of your ability. Pioneer Nation. My name is Claudia Garza and I am the head girls track and field coach at Sherryland Pioneer High School. I would like to start by introducing my assistant coaches starting with first assistant Lisa Chapa who oversees our distance group. Stephanie Wagner coaches our high jumpers. Anthony Villarreal coaches our pole vaulters and coach Bobby Olvera coaches our throwers. As always, I want to thank my staff for all their hard work and dedication during the season. And now, introducing our 2019-2020 Sherryland Pioneer Girls Varsity Track Team. Seniors, Daniela Alvarez, Shelby Cavazos, Alexi Garcia, Astrid Guerra, Brittany Overholzer, and Kate Rodriguez. I would also like to take the time to recognize our senior manager, Samantha Ayala. Juniors, Carly Hornaday, Audrey Hornaday, Frida Madrigal, Daisy Moni, Gabriela Ramirez, Karen Rivera, Denise San Miguel, and junior manager, Alyssa Sainz. Sophomores, Itza Bravo, Brianna de los Reyes, Kimberly Diaz, Andrea Longoria, 
Natalie Reyes, Kaylin Salazar, and Leora Shorts. And our freshman group, Isabella Arroyo, Sophie Ponce de Leon, and Taylor Gonzalez. This season, our goal as a team was to build from a strong foundation that was already instilled. Each one of you worked tirelessly to make it the best season. We suffered from injuries early on, but we prevailed and continued to work hard in practices. Every week during competitions, times and distances kept improving. As a team, we began to work as a cohesive unit and discovered newfound passion for the rest of the year. During the Knights of Columbus track meet, we finished the night with four new seasons best and a second place team finish. I would like this time to recognize those of you who were ranked at the top in district, area, region, and in state in your respective events. Four by one group, Shelby Cavazos, Brittany Overholzer, Denise San Miguel, and Katie Salazar, running 51.70, ranking them third in area. Our four by two relay team, Shelby, Brittany, Denise, and Katie, ran a time of one minute, 15.26 seconds, placing them first overall in district and in area. Our Ma relay quartet of Shelby, Brittany, Kate Rodriguez, and Sophie Ponce de Leon ran a time of 4 minutes 14.59 seconds that was ranked first in district, second in area, and seventh in the region. Congratulations to all our relay participants. Daisy Moni, our returning state qualifier, had podium appearances in every single track meet, winning four out of the five shot put competitions. Daisy was ranked second in state in the shot put and third in state in discus. Katie Salazar had top podium appearances in the 100 meter dash at every attempt and finished the season with a personal best of 13.09. Senior captain Shelby Cavazos ranked fourth in district in the 400 meter dash, ran a personal record time of 63.34 seconds and a 60 second split in the mile relay. Senior, Alexi Garcia, started the season strong, was ranked second in district and third in area in the 300 meter hurdles with a time of 50.7 seconds. Leora Shorts, ranked second in district in pole vault. Brianna de los Reyes, ranked fourth in district in high jump. I would also like to congratulate Seniors, Daniela Alvarez, Alexi Garcia, and Kate Rodriguez for achieving all academic state awards. To my seniors, I am forever grateful for all the memories you have left behind and wish you nothing but the best. To our wonderful parents, administration, and booster club, thank you for all the support this season. Finally, I would like to recognize all my Subvar City athletes. You all worked extremely hard this season, and I know how much you all were looking forward to your opportunity to shine in district. Keep the grind, ladies. And now, for our track awards. Starting with, newcomer. Denise San Miguel, Sophie Ponce de Leon. The Baton Awards go to Kate Rodriguez, Brittany Overhalser, and Alexi Garcia. Our Field Event Award goes to Daisy Moni. Our Coaches Award goes to Frida Madrigal, Kimberly Diaz, Daniela Alvarez, and Astrid Guerra. And last but not least, our MVP Awards go to Daisy Moni, Caitlin Salazar, and Shelby Cavazos. Congratulations, ladies.
Hello, my name is Marcelino La Fuente and I am the head boys track and field coach at Cherryland Pioneer High School. This year, the coaching staff along with myself is my first assistant, George Vela, and my assistant coaches, Douglas Boltais, Jesse Oviedo, and Alexis Peña. This year's members of our track team are freshmen, Joseph Graham, DeAnthony Jackson, Ryan Cervantes, and Evan Thompson. Sophomores, Jason Cavazos, Trevor Huddleston, and Gabriel Sanchez. Juniors, Ryan Boltais, Tristan Castillo, Miguel De Angel, Aziel Gomez, Miguel Angel Gonzalez, Guillermo Guerrero, Maddox Heller, Gabriel Kelly, Cesar Ramirez, Albert Ramon, Lauro Roman, Alejandro Vasquez, and Mason Villegas. And for our seniors, Jeremy Alvarado, Armando Amador, Frankie Aranda, Angel Avila, Isaac Bork, Ariel Castillo, Seth Epling, Edward and Ethan Garcia, Fabian Garcia, Lavar Lindo, Shamir Mallard, Luis Mendoza, Octavio Morales, Isaac Salas, Dominic Salinas, Leonardo de Salinas, and Matthew Silva. And now a little bit about our season. Even though the year came to a close sooner than we expected, the Pioneer Boys track and field team competed and performed to the best of their ability. They worked extremely hard and prepared for every track meet we went to throughout the entire year. The Diamondback track team won three of the six meets they competed in, bringing home the championship trophies at the Bandon Bears Relays in PSGA, the Ray Ramirez Relays in Will Grand City, and the Steve Stark Invitational held at Sherryland High School. Throughout the season, your Diamondbacks competed against some of the best runners, jumpers, and throwers in the Rio Grande Valley. There is no doubt the boys would have been ready to defend their district and area championships from last year. The coaching staff would like to wish this year's senior class the very best in everything they do. I am truly sorry the season ended the way it did, but always remember that life is filled with ups and downs, and what matters most is how you react to them. Remember the hard work, remember the fight, but most importantly, remember the good times you had. Lastly, I want all your student athletes to remember that life is a marathon, not a sprint. Never forget to take the time to be kind, to tell others that you care for them, and never stop believing that you can and will do great things in your life. Pioneer Nation will be here should you ever need us. Take care, we love you, and good luck. And now for the perpetual plaque recipients for newcomers of the year. There are three young men. Freshman, Ryan Cervantes. Freshman, DeAnthony Jackson. And freshman, Evan Thompson. The Baton Award going out to our relay guys. Three young men again. Junior, Miguel De Angel. Junior, Tristan Castillo. And senior, Lavar Lindo. And now for our field events. Go to two young men. Senior, Leonardo Salinas. And junior, Ryan Boltais. The coaches award go to three young men. Senior, Shamir Mallard. Senior, Dominic Salinas and senior Fabian Garcia. And for the 2019-2020 MVP, we go to three young men again. Senior Octavio Vegas Morales, junior Cesar Ramirez, and freshman Joseph Graham. Thank you very much for a great season, even though it came up short, but we love you guys and we wish you all the best. Thank you. and I'm the head girls basketball coach at Pioneer High School. At this time, I want to thank my amazing staff. Casey Bickerton, you are God sent to me and being that link between the girls and I is greatly appreciated. In addition to what you do behind the scenes, which allows me to focus on practice and game prepping. Roy Garcia II for the X's and O's as prepping our JV squad as a scout team. Elisa Cherry and Tony Villarreal for making sure our freshman babies were taken care of and they were developing their fundamentals and skills while still upholding their varsity responsibilities with stats and scouting that were direly needed for our success. I love you all and I'm so grateful to you for helping me and supporting our vision for our girls and our program. Your undefeated Lady Diamondbacks are seniors Adelaida Arroyo, Alexia Hernandez, 
Laura Ramirez, and manager Iris Garza. You're going to be missed immensely, but know you will be living in us as we move on to the next season. Thank you for your dedication, your commitment, and sacrifices the last four years. You have set the bar pretty high for our younger kids in our entire program. Juniors Priscilla Garza, Audrey Hornaday, Carly Hornaday, and Daniel Rangel. Sophomores Jordan Bravo, Natalie Reyes, and Haley Silva. And our sole freshman, Garisa Lopez. Be ready to continue where we have left off. We were 11 strong. Our season was the best season Pioneer Girls Basketball has put together in our six years by finishing with an undefeated district championship, a bi district championship, and an area finalist. We underwent so many challenges early on, which forced us to come together or to grow individually and as a team. The first and most devastating was losing last season's all state, all region, all valley, all area, district MVP, and Lady Diamond backcourt leader, Audrey Hornaday, to a season ending injury. That moment will forever be embedded in our hearts. However, we revamped our preseason program, established new roles, and most importantly, worked on believing in ourselves and gaining the confidence in our abilities to continue with the goals and vision that we had set for ourselves this season. Next, our parents and extended families are top notch. So thank you for all you have done and what you continue to do for our girls, especially keeping the snack boxes filled because those girls can eat. The collaborative effort between the coaching staff and our parents was extraordinary as everyone pulled together to make our dreams a reality. Mr. Nathan Jones, were the motivating, spiritual words of encouragement, pre-game talks, those lessons will forever be branded in our hearts and I firmly believe it is what linked our hearts as one. To our community, our district administration, our pioneer administration, our school board members, all of those who cheered us on as we moved on throughout the season. And having you in the stands was quite a blessing. Finally, I'd like to thank the good Lord for the challenges and the opportunity to grow as we established our new identity. What could have been disastrous was far from that. We were determined to take on the challenges head on and it was everybody coming together that led to our success. As a coaching staff, we are extremely proud of the team mentality our girls share. The fact everyone stepped up to perform their role for the betterment of the team. They were selfless, and it's not about individual glory and padding of stats, and it hasn't been for the last few years, which has led to the back-to-back -back championships. When everybody accepts and performs their role, the team benefits in the end. Our Lady Diamondbacks worked hard for each other. They held each other accountable while still being supportive and the ideal teammate. And most importantly, they truly do love each other and they respect each other so much. The following Lady Diamondbacks were acknowledged by coaches throughout the area, the region, and the state. State recognition for their work in the classroom, which was not an easy task considering the level of courses that these young ladies were taking. We had Alexia Hernandez and Laura Ramirez who earned TGCA All-State Academic, TABC All-Academic, and THSCA All-State All-Academic. Again, a huge task, so congratulations ladies. We had junior uh, Audrey Hornaday, who was a McDonald All-American Games nominee, which is a nationwide accolade. Not one that's very easy to come through, but her sophomore season proved her to be one of the elite. And she also earned this year a 31-5A All-Academic. Sophomore, Jordan Bravo, Region 4-5A All-Region, she was named cream of the crop first team, um, all valley first team, all area first team, 31-5A first team, and all defensive team. She was also 31-5A all academic, and she earned all tournament in New Brunswick's tournament. Senior Alexia Hernandez was also named the cream of the crop on the all defensive team. 
She was all Valley defensive team, all area defensive team, 31-5A defensive MVP, and all defensive team, 31-5A um, all academic. And she was chosen to play in the All-Star game to represent the West. However, that game will not be played. Still a huge honor. We had sophomore Natalie Reyes, who was named All Valley Honorable Mention, All Area Second Team, 31-5A Sixth Man of the Year, and 31-5A All Academic. Junior Carly Hornaday was named All Valley Second Team, 31-5A Second Team, 31-5A All Academic. Senior Laura Ramirez, 31-5A Second Team, and 31-5A All Academic. Senior Adelaida Arroyo, 31-5A second team, and she too was uh, named to the All-Star Game to represent the West, another honor that unfortunately will not be able to uh, be played. And then we had Haley Silva and sophomore Haley Silva and freshman Carissa Lopez, um, who also earned 31-5A All Academic. A huge congratulations to you ladies and um, for you all that are coming back. Um, really looking forward to some big things next year. Um, and now for our perpetual awards. Our perpetual awards for the 2019-2020 season are as follows. Newcomer of the year is freshman Carissa Lopez. Offensive player of the year, senior Adelaida Arroyo, and junior, Carly Hornaday. Our defensive player of the year is senior, Alexia Hernandez. Our heart and hustle award goes to sophomore, Natalie Reyes, and senior, Laura Ramirez. And our most valuable player for the 2019-2020 season is sophomore Jordan Bravo. Congratulations to our 11 strong for a remarkable season. With eight returning next season, what is our next goal at? I miss you all so much and have so much love for our Lady Dynamite family. Thank you and God bless you. Hello, Pioneer Diamondback Nation. I am Coach Rene Gonzalez, head coach of the Sheridan Pioneer High School Boys Varsity Basketball Team. I would like to give a huge thank you to my following coaches for their hard work and dedication to our basketball program. Their efforts never went unnoticed, and I'm truly grateful to them. I'd like to recognize my first assistant coach, Fernando Rodriguez, JV Dark Coach, Alexis Peña, Jamie Dyke coach, Bob Olvera, and freshman coach, Jordan Lee. Thank you so much for your efforts and everything you do for our basketball program. The 2019-2020 Pioneer basketball team was on a mission. The team came together in jail and made making it a memorable season. They let the whole state of Texas know that we were a team to be reckoned with. The Diamondbacks left no doubt in our district as they beat every single district opponent by more than 15 points and virtually winning their second straight district title. The Diamondbacks were geared up for the playoff run as they dismantled the Mercedes Tigers in their by district game. Our second round opponent, Corporate Christian Miller, was in trouble because we were looking forward to the rematch. The Diamondbacks demolished Miller from the tip-off until the game ended, consequently beating Miller by more than 31 points. Our third round matchup was against Corpus Christi Veterans. Our team, our team took control early and never let up the lead and beating Corpus Christi Veterans in the quarterfinals, which propelled us to the original tournament in San Antonio for the first time in Pioneer basketball history. The coaches and I would like to thank all the managers and players for a successful basketball season that will last for the rest of our lives. This group of seniors won more than 100 games in their pioneer basketball high school careers. Their 2019-2020 Pioneer Diamondbacks will forever be remembered as they have their left, their mark and legacy 
at Pioneer High School. Thank you for the following managers and players. Managers, Moses Sabah, Hector Moreno, Edgar De La Cruz, Sid Perez, Ryan Longoria, Paolo Casanova, Chennai Gonzalez, and Dan Aguilar. Thank you so much for managing our team this year. To the following players, Derek Briseño, Senior, Miguel Angel Gonzalez, Junior, Ethan Lee, Senior, Lavar Lindo, Senior, Derek Luna, Senior, Italy Markberger, Junior, Luke Padilla, Senior, Miguel Ramos, Junior, Isaiah Reyes, Sophomore, Michael Rodriguez, Senior, Seth Rodriguez, Junior, Jacob Rees, Sophomore, Leo Salinas, Senior, Aaron Solis, Junior, Marcos Trevino, Senior, Evan Young, Freshman. Thank you so much for making a memorable season. The following individuals are professional flex. First up, newcomer of the year, Seth Rodriguez. Congratulations. Harden Hustle was close to Derek Briseño. Congratulations, Derek. Defensive player of the year was the two individuals, Ethan Lee and Lamar Lindo. Congratulations, Ethan and Lamar. Offensive players of the year, two individuals go to Luke Padilla and Miguel Ángel Gonzalez. Congratulations. And MVP, Derek Luna. Congratulations, Derek. For the question step at Pioneer High School, we'd like to thank you guys so much for a memorable season. Now, let's see y'all. We're in it together. Thank you so much. Good evening. My name is Orlando Garcia. I'm the head softball coach at Sherryland Pioneer High School. This evening I'll be introducing our assistant coaches and our Lady Diamondback softball team. Our first varsity assistant coach is Nathan Sines. Our assistant coaches Alyssa Cherry, Rebecca Lopez, and Roy Garcia Jr. Now introducing our 2019 Lady Diamondbacks. Number one, a senior, Aisa Saldana. Number two, a sophomore, Caitlin Handy. Number five, a sophomore, Hannah Garcia. Number seven, a senior, Ileana Casanova. Number eight, a senior, Sierra Garcia. Number nine, a sophomore, Ariana Ale. Number 10, a junior, Andrea Ortiz. Number 11, a freshman, Daniela Ortiz. Number 12, a sophomore, Ileana Vasquez. Number 13, a freshman, Carissa Lopez. Number 14, a senior, Callie Bess. Number 17, a sophomore, Lisa Casanova. Number 18, a sophomore, Kayla Olivares. Number 21, a senior, Alexia Hernandez. Number 23, a junior, Kayla Mojaras. Number 24, a senior, Cameron Leal. Number 33, a sophomore, Alexia Bassan. And number 79, a freshman, Alondra Rodriguez. Also helping us this year was our videographer, Jordan O'Dell and our bad girl, Hope Garcia. At this time, I'm gonna give a little summary of our uh, season this year. This year opened up with a lot of players showing much promise towards a common goal of our Lady Diamondbacks making a deep playoff run, along with getting back the district championship somewhere along the way. However, a season-ending national pandemic dashed all the dreams and hopes of all of our players and coaches of such a talented team. 
There were some accomplishments along the way, such as being ranked number 19 in Texas 5A softball. As we attended the Marble Falls tournament, we the team went 6-0 going undefeated and becoming tournament champions. In the San Benito Invitational Tournament, we were runners-up. And as we started district play, we were 3-0 uh, in the three games we played. And of course, we will not forget beating our rival school for the 11th time in a row. We are certainly proud of this team and these girls, especially our seniors. There are no words I can say to show my broken heart for all your hard work. Our six seniors, Callie Vess, a four-year letterman, Ileana Casanova, a four-year letterman, Alexia Hernandez, a three-year letterman, Sierra Garcia, a three-year letterman, Aisa Saldana and Cameron Leal, two-year letterman. With a crop of young girls and seven starters coming back, we look to better and bigger things in the future to keep the Diamondback softball tradition alive. I would love to thank all the softball coaching staff for a job well done, to all the parents and all the players for a memorable year. At this time, I'll introduce our award winners for 2019-2020. Our newcomer of the year went to two young ladies, Daniela Ortiz and Alondra Rodriguez, both freshmen. Our Golden Glove Award went to three young ladies, Junior Andrea Ortiz, sophomore Ariana Ale, and sophomore Caitlin Handy. Our Silver Slugger Award went to freshman Carissa Lopez. Our Outstanding Pitcher Award went to Lisa Casanova. Our Most Improved Award went to Alexia Bassan. And our MVP was, went to two seniors, Alexia Hernandez and Callie Bess. Again, thank you all and have a wonderful evening. Hi, this is Coach Smith, head baseball coach. Uh, I'm here at the house with one of our bat boys and future D-backs, Hayden Smith, uh, doing this remote. It's a little bit different, uh, but want to recognize our guys nonetheless and, and, and the work and effort that they've put in. Um, you know, first off, before talking about anything, just want to want to thank God uh, for today. I uh, want to thank God for, for everything that, that we got to do together as a program. Uh, everything we've we've been able to achieve, but not only that, but just spending time with each other and learning the lessons that athletics provides us, you know, and in particular baseball. And we just thank him for that. Uh, we thank him for those opportunities. We thank him for that camaraderie. Uh, you know, we hope that we can use this opportunity to grow and get a little bit better at something, kind of the way we, we preach every day. Um, you know, as far as our season, uh, this year we were 12, three and one. Uh, we had, were state ranked early on, uh, you know, I think in both polls. We were just coming off an undefeated finish in the San Marcos tournament and getting ready for district. Uh, we felt really, really good about our team. Uh, you know, personally, as a coach, I felt like I put our team up against anybody uh, in the state and, and feel confident in doing so. Uh, so we thought we had just as good a chance as anybody to, you know, to, to get back to a regional final and win that and possibly get back to Del Diamond. Uh, but obviously that wasn't in the cards uh, for anybody this year. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now um, is, number one, I want to recognize uh, my coaching staff. Uh, without these guys, you know, our, our engine wouldn't, wouldn't run. Uh, these guys are the foundation of what we do. They work hard every day. They, they bring a passion to what they do. And they genuinely care about our kids, uh, which is probably the most important part of it. Uh, Chase Deaton, Sean Mose, Eddie Galindo, Fernie Rodriguez, and Rudy Youngblood. To all of you guys right there, thank you. Okay, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Our program would not run the same without you. I'm gonna go ahead now and introduce our, our players. Uh, number one, Alex Morales, senior. He's an academic All-State nomination. Number two, Juan Rivera. Sophomore. Number three, Derek Brasinio, senior. He's an academic All State nominee. Number four, Joshua Benitez, sophomore. 
Number five, Graham Lagrange, sophomore. Number six, David Benitez, freshman. Number seven, David Lopez, senior. Number eight, Oscar Serna, sophomore. Number nine, Trey Gonzalez, senior. Number 10, Ryan Garza, sophomore. Number 11, Evan Maldonado, senior. And he's committed to the University of Houston to play ball. Number 12, Angel Nunez, senior. He's committed to Our Lady of the Lake. And he's also an academic All-State nominee. Number 13, Angel Laranyaga, sophomore. Number 15, Izzy Perez, freshman. Number 21, Sandalio Garcia, senior. He's an academic All-State nominee as well. Number 27, Aaron Rodriguez, sophomore. Number 29, Abel Anzaldúa, sophomore. Number 32, Caleb Fuentes, sophomore. Number 33, Rafa Garza, sophomore. Number 34, Santiago Ortiz, freshman. Number 42, Isaiah Gomez, senior. He's going to Dallas Christian College to play baseball and he's also an academic All-State nominee. Number 44, Ray Hernandez. And number 99, Fernie Morales. Ray's a senior and Fernie's a sophomore. All right, we'll go ahead, uh, now that we've introduced those guys, you know, number one, just thank every single one of those guys for, for being a teammate. You know, one of the things we preach, you know, is it doesn't really matter who gets the credit. It's a team game and we're all pulling the same direction. When you've got a roster as big as we do and you play nine guys at a time, it can be tough to sit on the bench and to learn and have a role. Okay, but one of the things our guys have done a great job of doing is contributing in any way possible. So I want to thank each and every one of those guys uh, for what they do for this team. Uh, but we are going to now get to our superlatives or our awards for the year. Uh, we'll start off with our newcomers, okay? Our newcomers of the year are both guys that came to us this year. Um, they got here, I want to say, in October. Uh, you know, so the transition for them, you know, probably was very, very difficult coming to a new environment, but they've excelled at everything they've done. They've had great attitudes. They're excellent in the classroom, and they really, really produced on the baseball field in, in the time frame that we had. So our newcomers of the year, there's two of them. They are Angel Laranyaga and David Benitez. Our outstanding hitter okay, is a guy that has been with us, been a four-year starter. Uh, actually started for me when I was at Mission Vets. When I came over, he transferred over also. Uh, he lived in the, in the Pioneer District. And so this guy has basically been with me for four years and just an unbelievable kid, just a yes sir, no sir, always goes to work. Um, and unfortunately for him, he had a, an injury, Tommy John injury this year, uh, which was threatening his season. And I tell you what, he worked and worked and worked and he was able to come back and DH for us early in the season and he was just about to get released to play. Um, but he hit so well this year that he's going to be our outstanding hitter, and that is Angel Nunez. Our next guy is our outstanding pitcher, okay? and this is our basically our only junior on varsity. Um, he was a horse for us this year, you know, on the mound every time he threw, and he threw against you know some good teams. He threw against Cal Allen, Kerrville Tyvee. Uh, you know, we pretty much threw him against anybody. You know that it was good. He was just that he was our horse. Uh, we're looking forward to, to what he can do next year and then also what he can possibly do at the next level. And that is David Lopez. David Lopez. Our defensive player of the year. Um, you know, this is a guy that could probably get quite a few of these awards. Um, you know, he's a spark plug. 
you know, he gets after it. He plays the game hard and really enjoys playing it. And he's got he's got two more years of ball for us, and it's it, it's going to be good, I think. You know, I think this guy's got a chance to be one of the better high school players uh, in the Rio Grande Valley, you know, and also in the state of Texas. And that's going to be our defensive player of the year. Juan Rivera. Juan Rivera. Our next award, um, you know, is an award that we call the Dirt Bag Award. And this award is usually just given to someone that, that plays the game hard and plays the game the right way. Um, generally just enjoys playing it. It's hard for me to select one guy because I feel like this is kind of what our team is about. And we've got a bunch of guys that play like dirt bags. We've got a bunch of guys that just get after it and enjoy playing. Uh, but I had to pick one. And so that one this year, okay, is going to be a guy that just is, you know, comes to work every day, does things the right way, doesn't complain, you know, gets after it, works harder every day. Well, the day before he did that, it's just, it's just unbelievable as far as his work ethic. And that's Oscar Serna. Sorry, I stole your thunder on that one. You want to say Oscar? You good? I got it. Okay, all right. <laughs> You'll get the MVP. All right, our last one's going to be our MVP. Okay, and our MVP, okay, is a guy that's been a four-year starter. Uh, you know, people ask me, well, what position does he play? And you know, we list him as a utility guy. Uh, since I've been at Pioneer, okay, this young man has played pitcher, catcher, shortstop, third base, first base, left field, and center field. So just about everywhere on the diamond. And he's excelled at every single spot. He's going to the University of Houston, okay, to play Division I baseball. And I think it's a real possibility that, that the ceiling for this guy is so high that one day you may actually see this guy playing in the pros somewhere. You know, that's my hope for him. That's my prayer for him. Uh, but he's got that kind of ability. And this year he did it for us at the plate. Uh, and also on the mound, which he's done the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, he's going to be our MVP, and that is... Evan Maldonado. Evan Maldonado. Okay. So, guys, as we, as we close out, um, I just want to say thank you. Hey, thank you to our young men for the dedication that they've shown to this program. I want to particularly thank our seniors you know I, I can't imagine how difficult this whole experience has been on you guys but like i told you earlier like we've talked about all along trust god there's something bigger on the other end of it and everything happens for a reason okay so continue to trust okay maybe then we learn a lesson that helps us somewhere down the road that we don't take things for granted, that we love our family. You know, there's a lot of things that we can take from this. And I just want to encourage our guys to take the good. As difficult as that may be, take the good. We love you. We will always be there for you. And I guess we're signing out for, for 2020. Hello Diamondback Nation, my name is JJ Lopez and I am the head coach for the Pioneer High School Lady Diamondback Soccer Program. Before I introduce my coaching staff, I want to personally thank them. I truly believe we have the best coaching staff anybody could ask for. My varsity assistant is Jessica Lopez. Our JV great coach is Isai Mireles. Our JV white coach is Noe Gomez. Our varsity team consists of seniors Jocelyn Boyle, Cielo Boca Negra, Dianara Espinosa, Karen Perez, Isela Olguin, Andreas Calante, and Mary Caballero. Juniors, Abby Martinez, Lauren Guerra, Bella Austin, Kenya Bazan, Savannah Doran, Michaela Doran, Leilani Silva, and uh, Vanessa Rosales. Sophomores, Madison Alvarez and Monica Mesa. And our freshmen, Ana Moreno, Evely Yanez, Emily Yanez, and Mia Galvan, and our angels. Some people call them equipment managers, we call them angels. They are seniors, Liz Martinez and Jackie Mata, 
en Juniors, Claudia Rentería en Alexandro García. The Lady Diamondbacks had another outstanding year, and while they came up short of defending their district title, there's plenty to be proud of. This team faced adversity all season long as senior and four-year letterman Jocelyn Boyle, an incoming freshman and potential starter Ana Moreno, were lost to season-ending injuries before the season even began. The core of returning starters along with the rest of the team responded well and showed a lot of character and determination all season long. They had a good showing at both of the tournaments attended and ended up as a District 31-5A runner-up, missing that district title by just one point. Not one game, just one point. This team was poised and determined to make a deep playoff run when our season was interrupted by this pandemic. With the much anticipated return from injury of Captain Jocelyn Boyle and the season long starters hitting their stride, we can only imagine how far this team would have gone. While we can dwell on the past and the what ifs, I encourage everyone to focus on the positive and all of the great moments and memories that we shared this year. I want to thank the parents for everything they do for us and for making our soccer family what it is. I want to give special thanks to Daniela Cantu and Jennifer Rosales for everything they do for us. I want to thank our fans, the community, our administration and staff for all of their help and support throughout the year. To our seniors, you have made a big impact, not only to our team, but to the whole school. You are destined for greatness and we wish you the best of luck. You will be missed, but you will forever be a part of this Diamondback soccer family. And now to our perpetual award winners. The newcomer of the year goes out to two young ladies that had a bigger impact than they will ever know. Our newcomers of the year are Evely Yanez and Emily Yanez. Our most improved player goes out to a young lady that made tremendous strides this year, Karen Perez. Our spirit and desire goes out to a young lady that worked super hard to get back from her injury and her competitive nature, nature showed all year long. Our spirit and desire goes out to Jocelyn Boyle. Our outstanding athletes, there are four of them. This core of group of girls were a big part of our success this year. The outstanding athletes, Cielo Boca Negra, Lauren Guerra, Bella Austin, and Madison Alvarez. And our most valuable player award goes out to two young ladies that left it out on the field during practice and in games. Our MVP award goes out to Abby Martinez and Kenya Basan. I leave you with this. While these are difficult and trying times for everyone, we need to continue to maintain positive and optimistic. This gives us an opportunity to hit that reset button and reflect on those people that are most important in our lives. We need to be thankful for everything they do. It should remind us to not take things for granted and to live life to the fullest. I can't wait till the day we get back and I get an opportunity to coach you again. Until then, stay positive, stay strong, and stay safe. We love you, we miss you, but remember, it's always a great day to be a Diamondback. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Coach Lopez. I am the head coach for Pioneer Boys Soccer Team. Before we begin, I want to thank our, uh, my coaching staff for all their hard work and dedication. I couldn't do this without you guys, so I really appreciate you guys. My coaching staff consists of Jose Salinas, Armando Macias, Jacob Hinojosa, and Mario Garza. Now I'm going to introduce the 2019-2020 Pioneer Boys Soccer Team. Freshman Vincent Cardoza, freshman Oscar de la Garza, freshman Isaid Gomez, freshman Jesus Gonzalez, freshman Juan Medina, sophomore David Alaniz, sophomore Freddy Ceciliano, sophomore Luis Flores, sophomore Diego Lopez, sophomore Cesar Martinez, sophomore Gabriel Martinez, sophomore Tyler Moss, sophomore Angel Ramirez, sophomore Hugo Troncoso. Junior Brian Caballero, Junior Liam Caddy, Junior Nicholas Contreras, Junior Sean Fernald, 
Junior Diego Palos, Junior Jesus Perez, Junior Gus Sandoval, Junior Antonio Valdez, Senior Christian Cavarcas, and Senior David Huerta. Our managers, Carlos Melendez, Elias Robles, Diego de la Paz, and Dario Garcia. Thank you guys very much. The 2019-2020 uh, season was a very trying season for us this year. With only two returning starters, we definitely had a work cut out for us. They call it a rebuilding season. And any coach that has gone through it can tell you that it's not easy. Yet our years of experience have taught us how to weather the storm and how to stay positive by looking into the future. However, I think that for the players, it's a little bit harder. They have neither the years of experience nor the luxury of time as we do. For this reason, I can honestly say that this season has been one of the most rewarding seasons for me as a coach. You see, as a coach, our job, among many other things, is to win. Our success and our failures are measured with W's and L's. It is what we train for. It is what we focus on. It is what we live for. Yet this year, I was humbled by a group of young, inexperienced, but incredibly amazing team. This team showed a lot of heart, perseverance, and commitment. They showed that they have true grit and character beyond their age. This team never stopped fighting day in and day out. They were knocked down so many times, yet always found the will to get up and to continue. This team never pointed fingers at anyone and simply continued to work hard and to do what we ask of them day in and day out. So while we will not go down in the books as having a stellar season given our record, I consider this to be a huge victory for this young man to have developed such character that is sure to help them tremendously in life. It has also reminded me of the reason that I took this job in the first place. Boys, I am very proud of you. I love every single one of you, and I wish you nothing but the best in the future. And I hope you guys are working hard because we're getting ready for next year. Without further ado, I'm going to announce this year's individual awards. Newcomer of the year, freshman Isaid Gomez and freshman Vincent Cardoso. The Spirit and Desire Award goes to Junior Diego Palos. Our most improved player this year is sophomore Luis Flores. Our outstanding soccer boy is Junior Nicolas Contreras. And the 2019-2020 Boys Soccer MVP Award goes to Gustavo Sandoval and David Alaniz. Very proud of every single one of you guys. Take care and get ready for next year. The Pioneer Dimeback football team, coached by head coach Tom Lee, first assistant Robert Bocanegra, offensive coordinator Eddie Galindo, defensive coordinator Marcy De La Fuente, Special Teams Coordinators Doug Boltice and Jesse Oviedo. Running Back Coach Rene Rodriguez. Offensive Line Coaches Richard Eckley and George Vela. Wide Receiver Coach Orlando Garcia. Outside Linebacker Coach Roland Neal. Uh, consisted of the 2019-20 Diamondback Football Coaches. The roster consisted of number one, Alejandro Vasquez. Number two, Shamir Mallard. Number three, Mike Ramos. Number four, Alan Davila. Number five, Anton Sanchez. Number six, Jose Sepulveda. Number seven, Ryan Boltice. Number eight, JJ Snyman. Number nine, Ethan Lee. Number 10, Chris Zapata. Number 11, Gabriel Kelly. Number 12, Amy Marburger. Number 14, Luke Padilla. Number 15, Tristan Castillo. Number 16, Evan Maldonado. Number 17, Angelo Bazan. Number 18, Christian Drozek. Number 19, Oliver Olivares. Number 20, Romeo Ramos. Number 21, Kyle Sullivan. Number 22, Taylor Esparza. Number 23, Jason Cavazos. Number 24, Gavin Delagarza. Number 25, Marco Oviedo. Number 26, Alvaro Peña. Number 27, Dominic Salinas. Number 28, Jay Palacios. Number 29, Andy Rivera. Number 30, Alfredo Valise. 
Number 31, Ray Montes. Number 32, Asiel Gomez. Number 33, Mark De Los Reyes. Number 34, Fernando Salcedo. Number 35, Pete Esparza. Number 36, Nathan Vasquez. Number 38, Rafa Garza. Number 40, Isaac Rivera. Number 41, Guillermo Guerrero. Number 42, Chris Lopez. Number 44, Caleb Fuentes. Number 45, Ismael Saldivar. Number 46, Maddox Heller. Number 47, Elias Robles. Number 48, George Robles. Number 50, Andrew Torres. Number 51, Mariano Mena. Number 52, Eric Torres. Number 53, Sandalio Garcia. Number 54, uh, Polly Carver. Number 55, Alex Rosales. Number 56, Sid Perez. Number 58, Sergio Chavez. Number 59, Sean Halberd. Number 60, Tyler Ellison. Number 61, Mason Villegas. Number 62, Lauro Roman. Number 63, Daniel Roman. Number 65, Ethan Garza. Number 66, Danny Villalobos. Number 68, Juan Villarreal. Number 70, Danny Villarreal. Number 72, Sal Arguello. Number 73, Andrew Acosta. Number 74, Vance Roberts. Number 75, Brandon Rojas. Number 77, Abram Flores. Number 80, Aldo Villarreal. Number 81, Sippy Martinez. Number 85, Armando Castillo. Number 88, Laval Lindo. Number 90, Trey Guetta. Number 91, Trevor Huddleston. Number 92, Matthew Solis. Number 94, Luis Mendoza. And number 99, Enrique Cavazos. Other members of the team, Joseph Graham, Angel Flores, Jordan O'Dell, Logan Rodriguez, and Ramses Martinez. The 2019-20 Diamondback football team accomplished more in one season than any other group to wear the charcoal and white. The D-backs started the season with a loss 42-41 to the Harlingen Cardinals, but then reeled off 11 straight victories before a heartbreaking overtime loss to the Bernie Champion Chargers in overtime. The D-backs set school records in wins, losses, points, yards, and touchdowns. Junior Eddie Lee Marburger led the state in passing, and senior receivers Luke Padilla, LeVar Lindo, Alan Davila, and Evan Maldonado were clutch all season long. Junior Tristan Castillo was an all-purpose machine, and the offensive line of Sandalio, Brandon, Mason, Ethan, Laudo, and Danny, and Vance gave up five sacks all year long. Juniors Gavin Taylor, JJ, and Mike, it's up to you now to be the next great group of receivers. The defense was led by some unbelievable young men. All state inside linebacker Fernando Salceda was all over the field. Outside linebackers Ethan Lee, Kyle Sullivan, Romeo Ramos, and Alvaro Pena were undersized but played huge roles in the D-back defense. Eric Torres manned the middle and Mario Guetta and Matthew Solis came off the edge with explosiveness. The DBs were on lockdown every night. Shamir Mallard, Ryan Boltice, Alejandro Vasquez, and Marco Viedo with a fearsome fivesome. I can't thank the 2020 seniors enough for their time, dedication, leadership, and family atmosphere they established every single day at practice. The standard that they have set will be hard to match by future teams. I have known many of these players for many years, starting from our days in type of football eight years ago. To see these young boys become men will be something I will treasure the rest of my life. To get to see my boys, including my son, run out that tunnel each week brought back so many memories that I will cherish forever. You underclassmen, the torch has been passed, and it's up to you to keep the flame burning bright in Pioneer Nation. I love every single one of you guys. God bless, and you will be a Diamondback for life. 2019-20 Perpetual Plaque winners. First, your leadership award goes to three young men, Eric Torres, Alan Davila, and Marco Oviedo. Your commitment award goes to three young men, seniors Mario Guetta, Brandon Rojas, and Jordan O'Dell. Your Fighting Diamondback award goes to three young men, Lamar Lindo, Kyle Sullivan, and Shamer Mallard. The Newcomer of the Year goes to three young men, Ethan Lee, Gavin Delagarza, 
and Evan Maldonado. Your MVP for the special teams goes to three guys. Anton Sanchez, Oliver Olivares, and Chris Zapata. Your MVP for the defense, Fernando Salcedo. Your MVP for the offense, Luke Padilla, Tristan Castillo, and Sandalio Garcia. And your MVP overall for the 2019-20 Pioneer Dynamite football team is Eddie Lee Marvin. Once again, men, I appreciate all the effort that you gave this year during our football season. Going three rounds was special. It's something that we had as our goals. And it's something that can never be taken away from any of us. Go Diamondbacks. Go Pioneer Football. Thank you. And now the 2019-20 Platinum Diamondback Boy and Girl Athletes of the Year. The Platinum Diamondback Award goes to an athlete who has just, just demonstrated what a Sheridan Pioneer athlete should be concerning sportsmanship, dedication, hard work, persistence, perseverance, and one who believes in the team. All of the above attributes have defined many of the student athletes at Pioneer this year. They have all had to overcome many obstacles. They have had to be great sports about losing their seasons. They had to be dedicated by staying in shape and waiting to see if they could play. They had to be hardworking because this was their last year to shine. They had to be persistent by watching videos and working out on their own. They had to persevere like no other athletes have had to persevere because of the pandemic and losing everything. They have, they have had to love each other and cry with each other when they found out it was over. They missed sports, prom, graduation, and all the ceremonies that come with being a senior. So with all that said, the Platinum Diamondback Athletes of the Year are the entire senior class of girls and boys that have played sports at Pioneer over the last four years. I know we can't give you what you really wanted, and there's nothing we can say about what you have lost, but you seniors will be remembered for what you have endured and how you responded with style and grace. Love you Diamondbacks, and God bless you on everything that you do. Thank you. Oh, athletes. I wish we could all be together. I know that the past two months have been very difficult for many of you. There were seven sports that were not able to be completed this year. Soccer, powerlifting, golf, tennis, track, softball, and baseball. I know that was extremely disappointing for all of you. Many of you were just finishing up on your sports season, looking forward to the state playoffs, regional tournaments and meets, and some of you the state tournament and meet. Some of you are in the beginning or in the middle of your season or tournaments and meets. You were also looking forward to making the playoffs and the regional and state tournaments and meets. I know I don't speak for myself only, but for our entire coaching staff, when I tell you that our hearts were broken, when we all received word that the UIL had to close down all sports activities for the remainder of the school year, our hearts were burdened for all of you, especially our seniors. I want to speak to our seniors just for a moment. Participating in athletics hasn't just taught you the X's and O's, game plans, knowledge and terminology, or the basic fundamentals and proper techniques of your sport. It has taught much more than these things. Down the road, you're not going to remember every play, every hit, every kick, every catch, or every basket that you ever made. But you will remember the discipline, dedication, commitment, and the persistence that it took for each of you and your teammates to reach that ultimate goal of trying to make the playoffs, winning a district championship, qualifying for the regional or state tournaments and meets, I am hoping you'll remember the character building moments and sessions that our coaches have had had with you through the past four years. Words like integrity, honesty, loyalty, trustworthiness, self-sacrifice, accountability, and self-control are all traits of a person of good character. They are all traits that will be important to you and your success in the future. These are the things that I hope for as an athletic director 
that you carry away from your experience in athletics at Sherryland ISD. As I stated earlier, I know it was very disappointing for many of you not to be able to complete the athletic year and our hearts went out to you, but it is time to look ahead and move forward. Our coaching staff and I believe that as seniors, you will move forward, whether it is to a trade school or college, the military, or going straight out and get a job. If you continue to put forth the effort, dedication, and commitment, hard work, and the persistence that you've learned in athletics, you will all be successful. This is our prayer for you. To our underclassmen and to our seniors, I want to thank those of you who took this downtime to heart, trying your best to stay in shape with the hope that we could finish the athletic year. I know that individual and home workouts have not been as easy as it sounds to accomplish. Not having the proper equipment to train for for each of your sports, I'm sure has been difficult. But in speaking to some of our coaches, they have stated that many of you continued working out and completed your individual virtual and home workouts that our coaches sent to you. Some said that many of you were innovative when it came to your own workouts. Your efforts concerning these virtual workouts is a perfect example of what it means to be a good character athlete. In other words, what you're going to do when the coach is not looking. I encourage all of you underclassmen to continue working out and getting prepared for next year. In closing, the coaching staff and I want to thank all of you for your commitment and dedication. We hope you all remain healthy and safe during this time. We want to say farewell to all of our seniors. We will certainly miss you. To the underclassmen, we look forward to seeing you again. And we are, we are excited about the athletics in 2020-21. God bless you all.